it's humorous to a certain extent, and, and of course at the time no one had any idea uh, or even would fathom that this would happen. And it, it, it happened in, in 2007, uh, in February, almost nine years ago today. In, um, it was at a, a Villanova Marquette University game at the Bradley Center. Um, Marquette was ranked number 16th at the time. Villanova was not ranked at all, but it was still a uh, high-powered game. And um, ESPN was televising the game. And we were, our, our season tickets at that time, and it still are, next to the students. And, and we have the reseeding opportunities every, was it every year or every two years that the, the season ticket holders have to go through this reseeding based on the number of points you've right, accumulated. Right. And we have opportunities to improve our seats, but I don't want to move anymore because I, I love being next to the students. So this game was being televised by ESPN, and that really was inconsequential at the time, but that's how this ultimately became a news item is uh, they were playing the song and the students were jumping up and down and, 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 and we're sitting next to the students and I'm sitting next to, to uh, friends and alum and uh, we're in business suits and everybody's stodgy and I'm looking at the, at the students and, and kind of rocking my head and, and this had been going on of course for years by that time and so uh, I said, well, you know, why are the students the only people who, who get up and cheer? And, and I said, well, why doesn't anybody else? And I'm looking around me and talking to the people next to around me. I said, oh, no one else wants, wants to do that. And they're all looking at me like, what, what am I talking about? And finally, uh, one of the individuals next to me said, well, Rick, if, What's holding you back? And I said, you're right, you know. So I get, I get up and I start jumping. And as soon as I got up, ESPN put the camera on me. And I guess the um, arena put the camera on, on me as well. So I, I was on the Jumbotron. And as soon as, and I was in a business suit, and as soon as that happened, the, the students went wild and the crowd went wild. and. Um, I sat down after the song and I said, well, there, you know, <laughs> and they're all uh, surprised a little bit and, and wondering, uh, well, I, I guess he did it, you know, he yeah. challenged us. So uh, we went home. It was a good time. Marquette ended up winning uh, against Villanova and the next uh, home game, um, the song started playing again and I'm not doing anything. I did what I did, right? right. It, was a, it was a fluke challenge at a game, and that was the end of it. So the song's playing, and I'm talking, and the people around me are saying, hey, you got to get up. And I said, get up for what? And they said, look at the students. And so the students were all pointing at me with their, with their fingers. And they said, well, you got to get up now. And so I got up, and as soon as I got up and started jumping, uh, again, the camera went on me and, the, and the, the students went wild. And so that was the second game. And as I'm leaving the game, all of a sudden, uh, students are coming up to me. Uh, other fans that were at the game are coming up to me and saying, great job. I, I hope you continue. I said, I, I don't know what's going on. So uh, two games turned into three and four, and it's just been going on for nine years ever since and I and I I don't know why I don't know when it'll end I don't know um, what the ex interest is or the excitement but it's kind of created a a, a little bit of a uh, just a, a row uh, at the games and with the media and wherever I go